Travis Kelsey is attempting to clear his name on allegations that he shoved one of Taylor Swift's security guards when the singer was in New York City over the weekend. The video of the incident, which shows Kelsey helping Swift out of an SUV after the two of them made surprise appearances on Saturday Night Live, has gone popular on TikTok. Kelsey puts his hand on a security guard who then stands aside to make room for them to meet as Swift exits her vehicle. Keep watching this video to see why Travis Kelsey is so protective of Taylor Swift. The event caused an internet comedian Hoff Dizzle to upload a parody in which he portrays the security guard angrily raving to a buddy about the time Kelsey pushed him out of the way. In the spoof, Kelsey pushed the security guard out of the way. Woo! Guys, guys, don't go forward. I was trying to do my job and he just pushed me out of the way to open the car door for her. The comic quipped in the comedy as part of the skit. That's what they pay me for, that's why I'm here, head of security, and I've been doing this for years, the man said. On the edition of the New Heights podcast that aired on Wednesday, co-hosts Travis Kelsey and his elder brother Jason Kelsey played segments of Hoff Dizzle's videos, including the parody of the Push event. After that, Jason Kelsey questioned whether or not he had received any pushback from the actual security guards about pushing them out of the way that one night. The response from Travis Kelsey was one of complete disbelief. I did not push him. Rather, I put my hand on the gentleman's back in order to let him know that I was following him. If I had pushed him, he would have probably spun around and shocked me. That sounds like a way that somebody who pushed somebody would describe pushing them, Jason Kelsey remarked, encouraging his brother to continue. Travis Kelsey went on to further clarify that he didn't want to startle the security officer for the following reason. I know it's his job to keep crazy people away and if you just randomly get pushed in the back while standing in front of a door that could probably be a little alarming. He also said that the security detail did not reference the incident at any point and referred to them as good people. Since the beginning of this month, rumors that Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey are dating have thrown the sports and pop culture media and their respective fan bases into a frenzy. The singer has been seen at several of Kelsey's games with the Kansas City Chiefs, much to the joy of the NFL and much to the displeasure of some fans. She has been seen cheering Kelsey on from the bleachers with Kelsey's family members and friends. The couple on Saturday Night Live made fun of the dramatic response and watchful monitoring of Swift's participation at games by network TV. A thunderous ovation was given to Kelsey when he concluded the sketch. Kelsey has said that he believed the league was overdoing it with its coverage of Swift when games were being played. The couple has not yet publicly acknowledged that they are in a relationship. Still, it has been claimed that they were seen showing public affection when they were out in New York over the weekend, which certainly confirms that they are developing a relationship. The images of the couple walking past crowds of photographers while holding hands went viral on the internet, with Kelsey often taking the initiative to lead the way. On the edition of the podcast that aired on Wednesday, Kelsey said that when he goes on dates, he is all about playing the chivalrous gender role and keeping a lookout for his partner when they are in public. I feel like whenever I'm on a date, I'm always having the sense of like I'm a man in the situation, he said. At Arrowhead Stadium, Swift was observed in the Chiefs suite on Sunday wearing a friendship bracelet inspired by the Eras Tour and included Kelsey's jersey number. She was also seen hanging out with Patrick Mahomes' wife, Brittany, and the couple's 11-month-old son, Patrick Bronze Levon. <laughs> Kelsey's number, 87, is encircled by two red hearts on the gold beaded bracelet, which may be a reference to the single band of gold described in Swift's song, Invisible String. In addition, the purported relationship between Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey has a unique link to friendship bracelets for several reasons. Kelsey first fueled rumors of the growing relationship when he spoke about Taylor Swift's concert on the podcast, New Heights. When Kelsey was asked about the tour, he began by expressing his displeasure with Swift's decision to not interact with anybody before the performance to preserve her voice. I was a little butthurt that I didn't get to hand her one of the bracelets I made for her, Kelsey recalled. It was one of the things I really wanted to do for her. I really wanted to give Taylor Swift the one that has my phone number on it. Also this week, Jason Kelsey presented his brother with a second friendship bracelet. This time the band read On The Map 
an apparent reference to the star's blossoming relationship with Swift. Before showing up on Sunday, Swift had already shown his support for Kelsey by attending three of the Chiefs' previous four games, all of which the Chiefs had won, in person. Taylor Swift's song, You're On Your Own Kid, from her most recent album, Midnight's, includes the words, so make the friendship bracelets, take the moment and taste it, you've got no reason to be afraid. Bracelets have become a standard item for fans attending the Eras tour. As a result, fans started wearing and swapping bracelets while attending Swift's performances and even gave them to her VIP guests, such as Kelsey, who reported receiving a bunch of them. It is possible that Swift, who is well known for leaving secret messages for her followers, is confirming the connection with the help of this item. After the Chiefs defeated the Chargers, Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey were seen leaving Arrowhead Stadium, and according to reports, they departed in quite the getaway vehicle. According to the Daily Mail, Travis and Taylor were reportedly spotted leaving the game in the back of a golf cart before climbing into Travis's Rolls Royce and heading to a catered party at his Kansas City estate. In case you missed it, TMZ just claimed that Travis had acquired a new mansion in Kansas City for $6 million. According to the publication, Travis did so partly because he thought his previous home was far too accessible and was starting to become a tourist attraction. And he is correct. Dating Taylor did play a part in Travis's choice to move ahead. During a previous press conference, he had addressed the issue of coping with an increase in the number of paparazzi. He had said, we're learning with the paparazzi taking photos from all over the place, but at the same time, you know, it comes with it. The night, Tavis stepped out in style, walking hand in hand for an apparent dinner date. There are a lot of people who care about Taylor and with good cause. He said, you have a lot of those individuals. You just need to keep living, keep learning, and keep appreciating the times that you are given. When it comes down to it, I've always been quite excellent at being able to compartmentalize things and remain focused in this building. Suppose the many public appearances of Taylor and Travis weren't enough to tip you off. In that case, the two are becoming much more serious about their relationship, and a source close to Entertainment Tonight claims that Travis will be accompanying Taylor on tour in November. The following was stated, The two are really attracted to one another and are having a good time spending time together, but they are also making plans for the future. In November, Taylor will launch her world tour, and Travis has already made plans to accompany her there so that they may spend time together. Both Travis and Taylor are very dedicated to their professional lives. As a result, the two have developed a strong friendship and a strong desire to assist one another in any way they can. And that wraps things up. We appreciate you watching this video. Please hit the subscribe button and we'll see you in the next one.